I'm gonna set aside one hour, grab everything, gonna mark it on my stop point, and every now and then, I'm gonna show you the time. You're also gonna get to see a brand new sluice box, and in one hour's time, we'll find out just how much gold we have. Have we got enough time? Can we do it? Let's go find a shiny! Just to give you a quick update on things. I've had to adjust this loose a little bit. I just wanted to put some dirt in the bucket. These are the classifiers that I make. I make them for my tours, I don't sell them. These on the other hand, I do sell. These are my sugar tubes. They come with 112 and a half to be bent on the end. Well engineered machine, I can move volume. Let me show you just how fast this goes. Right, so what I'm gonna do is gonna put you on head melt for a few minutes as I fill this bucket up. And again, for transparency, let's go find some shiny. So you can see where there is outcrops of bedrock along here. So all I'm doing now is just getting this little shovel, slicing her up. Now we have nice loose gravel ready to be run. Every now and then you'll see me do this, like 18 minutes. So all you have to do now is just take the circuit tube. So all I'll do is just simply pull back, twist, and all the water will fall out. Gravel stays in there. Let's get down and feed this now. Nice big flat rock. That there be fine. Uh, it's all right. It's out of the water. I've run it with quarter, but I've never run it with half. too bad I mean the cells are dancing but let's have a look at time now 23 minutes I haven't got long left so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna try and see if my half inch classifier will fit in this just want to make sure this classifier is underwater oh it is oh interesting so my quarter inch classifier and half inch both use the garish classifier I made the quarter inch myself right where are we at 25 minutes and I've run what? Half a bucket. What I'm gonna do now is just gonna clear off this whole section, get that whole bucket full to the brim. Right, let's crack on with this. Let's go find some shiny. Fast moving water, fast moving water, and then it slows right down. Alluvial fan. That looks nice there. Right, take that. See that marbling? See the way it looks like a marble floor? If I'm looking for somewhere to pan now, where am I going? The exact spot where I took gravel from, that's the slowdown point. And again, just for transparency, I want to know what's here just as much as you. Again, I've no idea what's going to be in this, if there's any gold here at all. Wiry pirate. A lot of iron. Okay, nothing that. We were looking for a slowdown point. See where the water gets fast, 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 and then it drops out. But again, it seems to be too much overburden. So let's find the easy gold. So again, like earlier on, I'm just gonna slice up the ground. I'm not necessarily gonna dig and take a sample. Of clay. Look at the amount of more gravel. A lot more shale there. A lot more rocks in general. Anything? Loose, shaley material. No, no gold in that. Okay, well then we have to ask the question is, where's the place we can get the most amount of gravel from? Where are we at now? 47. And I haven't even sluiced the full bucket. It's 
gonna make for a pretty boring video now. The, how much gold can I find in an hour? The answer is nothing. You have to think positive all the time. Get a few big rocks out of the way. Oh God, that's heavy. <laughs> no wonder I couldn't move it. That's the rock I was standing on a minute ago. I wonder it wasn't moving. Right, tell you what. We're at a nice drop zone here. Circuit you out of here. Put it into the bucket, feed it through the sluice. Get it done by the hour, clean it out. Simple as that. Let's go find something resembling shiny. <laughs> Let's go find anything. Okay, so I'm working behind this boulder and I'm getting a lot more gravel. This is what I'm doing. I'm throwing the sucker tube straight onto it. Transparency, 54. All right, we got one full bucket of whatever that bucket is. Two gallon, half inch. Run this through, clean it out, and it'll probably be past the hour at that stage. Okay, I didn't get a whole lot done, but hey, let's see what we got in this bucket. Put it through the sluice box. Let's go find the shiny. Okay, we're just about to feed the sluice box. I got a little bit of extra time for it to clear, but no big deal. Just for transparency, we're just coming up to the hour. You want a V on the beginning of the sluice box, but you also want a V down the end, so water has a chance, gravel has a chance to fall away. Right, I'm gonna work away through the rest of this box and I'll come back to you in a few minutes. We're down to the very end and we do the clean out. I see, is there any gold here? Let's go find some shiny. So I'll just throw this last little bit in. straight out of the water park on a flat surface as flat as you're gonna get so to clean out this loose all we'll do is just under the, under the bolt hold the mat and done nice and gently i'm just going to introduce each of those cells to the pan just push the mat back in push it down and tighten it, clamp down. Okay, so that's all the material there is from the sluice box. We're at one hour and 12 minutes. So let's see how we're getting on here. We don't want the water running too fast. Not only is there no gold, there's no material. That box is too fast. For transparency. Okay, well that's disappointing, no gold here. It's obviously just a case that there's too much overburden. Okay, so that's disappointing. No gold at the lower level of the river, no gold at the side. Now that, that being said, the box was running a bit fast, but even when we done test pans, we still found barely any gravels. So look, that's unfortunate, but hey, welcome to life. That's unfortunate, we didn't find it today, but look, we've managed to run the sluice box. We've managed to rule out this area. I think that's the case. We just have to move further upstream. Hope you've enjoyed today's video of finding gold in one hour. I think that's probably what I call it. You know me, at the editing stage, I always call it something else. But if you like this video, chances are you like the videos I previously posted and the ones I'll be posting in the future. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and sure catch the next one. Can I go find more shiny? Hopefully more than today. <laughs> right, see you later. Bye-bye.